What's up guys, Doxy King here today with some tutorials for Zombies in Spaceland for Infinite Warfare. There's the first power switch and that is one of five. And then we also have four teleporters, one to accompany the other four um, power switches. So right now we are in the main area. As you can see, there's Journey into Space. Uh, we are going to be running to one of two of the power switches in this area. As you can see right here, we are running by the... Uh, teleporter well the teleporter that's accompanying the switch so you just got to run right through here we actually just ran by jug too although it's called something else in this so there's your power switch also the reason I'm recording this now is because uh, the recording didn't work when I had it had me switch flipping on the switches so there's one and then you will want to use each teleporter uh, you won't want to use the four so you got to activate it with this and then you go and you do that every single time uh, and then it will open up, and then there's one switch and one teleporter, and now we're running back in. You can do this if you want in any order, doesn't matter. Uh, so now we're going to the Astrocade, where there's a switch. This, I'm just trying to make you familiar with the area. Going in here, pretty simple. This is like a super easy thing to have to do. Uh, so there's a power switch, and then there's your teleporter. Activate it up. And then you gotta actually wait for that image to appear of where you're going, and then you can go in. I mean, you can stand there, but you won't go anywhere until the image is there. And yeah, that was Journey into Space. Now we're heading into the Kepler system. There is uh, one switch and one teleporter. Easy to get to, because they're all easy to get to. You just gotta make sure you have the doors open, but there's your switch. Also, the cost of the doors are different, so that's why I'm not showing the cost of me buying the doors. Depending whether you're playing solo or multiplayer, you can contribute. There we go. Another teleporter down. One more to go. One one switch and one teleporter to go is what I meant to say. And then you will be able to open Pack-a-Punch. So we're just going to go ahead and run through this area. Uh, I forget what it was called. It was like try something. I should have been paying attention. Whoopsie daisy. And it, it says power. So it will bring you along where you're supposed to go. Um, I might have missed it in this footage. Did I get it in this footage? No, I knew where it was. Okay, good. So, you uh, activate that. And that, yeah, in the original footage, I screwed that up. Uh, you activate it. Then you go down to the teleporter and activate the teleporter. And then once you've done that four times, so you go through. And then the teleporter is ready to go to back a punch. Now, you don't need to go immediately. You can go whenever the hell you want. But you'll have to reactivate it every time you go. So, just re-teleport the four times. Not the power, just the teleporters. Um, and then you can upgrade for 5,000 uh, money. It's not points anymore. So, uh, I didn't have a gun to upgrade because I had already upgraded that gun. As you can see, this gun is upgraded. And I had the um, intervention <coughs> with me. And uh, wasn't going to upgrade that because sniping the zombies is it's not great. So, don't do that. But that's a pretty uh, simple guide to how to turn on the power and get to pack a punch. It was... Uh, a well done way for them to uh, introduce those two elements to their own version of zombies. So yeah. Also, it's it's exact. It's the Kino room. That's exactly what it is. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And make sure to subscribe, and follow me on Twitch and follow me on Twitter. Thank you.